What's up you guys, it's Matt here. So XRP is seeing a little bit of a decrease today, just like a lot of other things in the market. And I wanna talk about the expected numbers, right? And it's kind of insane to see this, but this is coming from an article. It's not coming from me saying that I believe Ripple is going to reach a dollar in two days. But this is basically what this article is saying is that they believe there's going to be a massive increase to Ripple at the end of this year, which is today or tomorrow, we may see this push to a level of a dollar. And honestly, I kind of want to have this on the record so that we can see if they truly are right. Now, for me, I don't necessarily see that um, that XRP is going to reach a dollar anytime soon, right? Right, right now. I mean, when it comes to um, you know the next year, we could see that happen uh, very quickly in January. But when it comes to this year at the end of this year i don't know if i necessarily see that right but let's go through um what their analysis is and go through a couple of things within the article as well as look at uh terra luna classic and you guys give me your opinion in the comment section because i mean we only have two days so you really don't have a long time to wait uh but guys hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that notification bell for more videos like this one also make sure you check out some of the links down below it does help out the channel. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, you can definitely follow me on Twitter at Perry8K. Now, also, if you guys want to start trading XRP, maybe on leverage, you know, you can trade XRP on leverage, um, you know, by going over to Margex using my link for Margex down in the description. And you can trade XRP on leverage. You can trade BTC on leverage. You can buy and short the market within this platform. Feel free to use that link in the description but if we look at xrp and where it is right now it's currently at 62 cents it's down about 1.6 uh percent 1.7 percent on the day if we look at the last seven days it's kind of flat so it really has increased up to about 65 or 60 almost 66 cents before decreasing down here again currently at the 61 or 62 uh level um but again, being down 1.6, 1.7%. If we look at the market cap, we're looking at a $33.5 billion market cap with uh, $1 billion worth of volume. Now, I went into this article, I was, I was looking up things because I was trying to see what's happening with the SEC. I'm always trying to see if there's any type of major news that's gonna happen with the SEC versus Ripple. Um, and there wasn't really any crazy news. There was uh, some things uh, going on about um, you know, Ripple and the decision that was made with Terra Luna Classic or Terraform Labs. And um, there was something with that. But I also saw that this was pretty interesting, right? Um, which is uh, Ripple XRP's bulls uh, crazily expect $1 price before 2024 as whales splash over $220 million on XRP buys. Now, I saw this that was pretty interesting, right? And I, I want to get into some other pieces here, but um, the number of whales holding at least 10,000 XRP reached an unprecedented high of 270,000 addresses during this period. And that's interesting. It seems like 10,000 XRP is the, is the number, right? And the reason why it's the number, right? I look at it and I go, all right, I look at my assets and my assets and what I'm holding, I'm holding 10,659 XRP. Um, so it seems like 10,000 is the right number. I want to hold more than that, but it seems like you must hold, you know, 10,000 XRP because that's what whales are looking to to have. And I'm not a whale by any means. I feel like whales are people that have like, you know, tens of thousands or even hundreds of thousands of dollars in these positions, not 6,000 or 7,000. So um, I'm holding 10,000. I guess they would consider that level, um, you know, whales there. But uh, during this period, as per, per data, um, I wanted to get into something else. I wanted to find where it was right here. Uh, while, the, while the recent whale resurgence for XRP uh, and other fundamentals uh, are promising, its uh, market performance remains lackluster compared to the explosive success with Witness in the uh, broader cryptocurrency market. the From the onset of November, the sixth largest cryptocurrency has found itself uh, ensnared, ensnared, I don't know if I'm saying that right, uh, in a, a narrow consolidation phase um, with 
with its price um, exhibiting minimal movement over the, the past week. The prospect of a bullish breakout from uh, the symmetrical triangle pattern uh, discern, discernible um, on the chart, on the, on the daily chart, holds the, holds the potential for a, for two, sorry, holds the potential to propel towards the $1 resistance level and higher. So they're basically saying that they believe that this is going to get to a, um, to a $1 price point. You could see that it's not necessarily saying that before 2020, um, before 2024, that we'll see that level be hit. But I guess this is coming at a level where it's expected any day now within this consolidation. And to see this kind of resistance at a level of a dollar and either break that resistance or uh, fully break out from where it is right now. And they're expecting this kind of any day now that this is going to absolutely skyrocket and break through um, this pattern here to propel itself up to a level of a dollar. So it's definitely something that caught my interest, caught my attention. Doesn't mean that it's going to 100% get to $1 by the end of the year. N no. And does that mean that a lot of people are going to sell by the end of the year? Most likely not. You know, we're not going to see the the level of a dollar be the major point for some people. I saw in my video yesterday, they were like, even $6 seems like a ridiculous um, time to sell. Like I would be too afraid to sell at that point because I feel as though I would be missing out on a lot. And it's understandable you know, why you would do, why you would say that, that you would miss out on a lot. <clears throat> so at, <clears throat> at press time, XRP was trading at 63 cents. In fact, a marginal uh, 0.02% decline in the past 24 hours, notably the current uh, price position. Uh, just above the uh, critical critical multi-year support level of 55 cents, right? Um, again, XRP is currently standing at a level of 62 cents. Do I see it absolutely running to a crazy high level? Um, I can't say that I see it running to a crazy high level right now, but they're saying that any day we could see this breakout um, to where it is trying to increase up to a level of um, a dollar. And I don't know if I see the significant level here based on this line chart, you would have to bring up the kind of uh, candlesticks. Um, but I, I understand where they're coming from. I don't think it will happen in the next two days. Um, in my opinion, but I can definitely see the breakout happening sometime soon, you know, maybe in the new year, rather than looking at it uh, at the end of this year, because right now, there's a ton of things going on, especially while people are trying to realize some of their losses in order to offset some of their gains. And they will consistently do that. And if they are doing that with this position, they're not going to buy until like January 1st at, at least, right? And if not, it's going to be a little bit further into the new year. So anyways, guys, let me know what you think about this. Do you think it's going to hit a dollar in two days? Uh, or do you think that we're going to see this, you know, hit a dollar somewhere in January or February or or maybe not even that. Let me know your opinion. Guys, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, hit the notification bell for more of these videos. Also, make sure you check out any of the links that are down below. It does help out the channel. And if you want to follow me on Twitter, follow me on Patreon, feel free to do that as well. The link is in the description. I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.